If you've ever tried expanding your HDMI setup, you've probably hit the same question we did. What's the real difference between a splitter and an extender splitter? They sound similar, they even look similar, but once you start setting them up, they behave completely differently. So to make things simple, we're comparing two from Ori, the UHDS1 O2 HDMI splitter and the HD14 EX165K HDMI extender splitter. Both do the same basic job, but the way they handle that signal and the kind of setups they're built for are different. And the best way to explain that is by putting them side by side. So let's get started. Now, when you first pick them up, they actually look similar, both metal built, compact and well finished. But once you look closely, you can tell what each is meant for. The UHDS102 is small, neat and direct. One input, two outputs, simple layout, and it's ready to mirror your content on two nearby screens. It's that easy going device you can just slide behind your TV or your workstation. The HD 14 EX 165K though, feels more like a system. It comes with a transmitter and individual receivers, which instantly tells you it's made for longer runs. And when you notice the HDMI loop out on the transmitter, you start to see its purpose, letting you keep a local screen active while sending the same feed across rooms through CAT6 cables. And that's where the first major difference shows. The splitter sends the same HDMI signal to both screens through standard HDMI cables, which makes it perfect for setups where everything's in one place, like two monitors side by side or a TV and projector combo. But once you move beyond that room, HDMI cable length becomes a limitation. The signal starts to drop and that's where the extender splitter takes over. It pushes that same signal over CAT6 or CAT7 cables, reaching up to about 230 feet. So while the splitter is about clean mirroring, the extender splitter is about distance and signal strength. Now both deliver strong visuals, but in slightly different ways. The splitter supports up to 4K at 60 Hz and runs on a full 18 gigabits per second bandwidth, which means you get sharp, uncompressed video with HDR10+, Dolby Vision and HLG support. Everything looks vivid, balanced and clear. The extender splitter sticks to 1080p at 60 Hz and it does that for a reason. Keeping long distance signals consistent and lag free it's HDCP 1.4, compliant with 4.95 gigabits per second bandwidth. So even though it doesn't chase 4K, it guarantees a steady stream without flicker or frame drops, even over extended cables. So while the splitter focuses on detail and resolution, the extender splitter focuses on stability and reach. And this same contrast continues with audio. Both support Dolby True HD DTS HD Master Audio and LPCM 7.1, which means you're not losing any sound quality regardless of which one you choose. But the way they handle control feels different. The splitter adds CEC pass-through on one of its outputs so your devices can talk to each other. You can control your source right through your TV remote, which keeps things simple. However, Extender Splitter adds IR control, so you can control your player from another room through the receiver. That's the subtle but meaningful advantage when your source is far away. And both come with EDID management. So your displays stay in sync without you diving into settings. In real use, the difference becomes even clearer. The splitter works best for local setups. Imagine you're editing videos and want to see your timeline on one monitor while your preview runs on another. That's where it fits naturally. It's also perfect for small conference rooms, retail displays, or gaming setups where both screens are close and need matching visuals. But if you walk into a restaurant, a gym, or an office where the same content plays across different rooms, the extender splitter is built exactly for that. You can mount the transmitter near your source, run simple CAT6 cables through walls, and connect up to four remote screens. All powered by the same main adapter thanks to power over cable. 
and the loop out means you still have one screen near you showing what's being broadcast remotely, which helps for quick checks and adjustments. And speaking of installation, both are easy, just in different ways. The splitter is plug and play. You connect your input, two outputs, add power, and it's ready. You don't think about it again. The extender splitter takes a few more minutes to set up, but once it's running, it feels even cleaner. There's no need for extra power bricks behind every TV, and the signal stays strong through simple cat cables. It feels like a professional setup, but without the complexity. Now, if we talk about limitations, and every device has a few, both have theirs for good reasons. The splitter handles 4K beautifully, but it can't go far. HDMI cables longer than about 30 feet start losing integrity, so you'll want to keep both screens within a single space. On the other hand, the extender splitter easily covers the distance, but stops at full HD. So if you're doing high resolution work or want to keep HDR visuals, that might not fit your use case. However, the good part is that these two complement each other. The splitter gives you precision. The extender splitter gives you reach. Together, they pretty much cover every type of installation you can think of. And when it comes to build quality and reliability, both follow Ori's same philosophy. Simple hardware that just works. No software, no pairing process, no constant tweaking. You plug them in and they behave exactly how you'd expect. And that's probably why these two models are so popular in both consumer and commercial use. They take out the guesswork. So at the end of the day, the splitter is your go-to if you want the same signal mirrored between two nearby screens with the best possible image quality. It's compact, modern, and totally ready for today's 4K content. The extender splitter, on the other hand, is made for larger spaces where distance matters more than pixels. It keeps everything running smooth across rooms and even gives you that remote control convenience through IR. So that's all from us. Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech news and reviews.